Hi, it's Neil from Mighty Little Green Machine. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be spreading uh, this pile of inch and a half plus or inch and a half minus crushed gravel. This is not what I thought I ordered, but I think it's going to work fine because I think it'll pack in good. I just wanted stone. Uh, I was trying to find the least expensive base, and this is what I ended up with. So we're going to go ahead and spread it um, and see what happens, but I think it actually might work out okay. So let's get started.
Okay, so as I said at the beginning of the video, this was not the material that I wanted or what I thought I was ordering. I ordered the wrong product. This was a crushed gravel. I really wanted just a stone product, I thought. But what it turned out is this actually packs really, really nice. So this turned out to be a better base layer than just crushed stone. Um, so if you are trying to make a good flat base that's solid, uh, this material would probably work for you. If you are just trying to put crushed stone down, then this material will not work for you. Um, so you can see that I have spread a good part of the pile already. And um, I'm also not going for level here. I'm not using my laser level. I'm not trying to really level it uh, because I'm just going to use it to park. So it doesn't really matter to me. Now down here, what I did was, if you look down here at the end, this is where those rocks were. If you watch my last video that I was trying to dig out with the with the um, B Expanded Ripper. But what I decided to do instead was I took some material on both sides and put a gradual slope up and down, and then this will all get covered in crushed stone, even leveled out a little bit more. And that will give me a nice smooth transition for the trailer to go up and over to get out back. It's also given me a much more stable edge here, because if you look over here, and I'll show you this in a second, I'm coming over, I literally built this up like a foot and a half. I'm grabbing a couple of rocks here to get them out of the way. But I built up this edge over here about a foot and a half. Um, that's how low it was before. And this stuff gave me a good solid edge now on top of the sand. So the tractor no longer sinks in when I'm driving over it. I think what I'm going to end up doing is renting a uh, vibratory roller and pat flattening this whole thing out before I put the crushed stone down. I don't know yet. We're gonna have to see. But let's get back to moving some more product. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and use the box blade, or I'm gonna use the box blade. Now, if you watch, this is, when you're using the box blade, the landscape rate, things like that, this is where the hydraulic top link really shines. I'm able to change the angle very easily of the box blade. And so when I put it more flat, it's gonna move more material. And when I uh, lean it down all the way, it's gonna smooth it better and not, and not move as much material. And that's how I use the box blade. I don't know whether it's right or wrong, but it's always worked well for me. But this is just another instance where having the having the hydraulic top link is just absolutely makes this so much nicer uh, if you don't have one and you do any kind of grading or anything like that i would highly recommend that you get one
unfortunately, my battery died yesterday when I was recording, and today it's raining. So I didn't finish this video. I just want to show you how it came out when I was all said and done. And that was a combination of the bucket and um, the box plate. So I'm pretty very pleased with that. I have really grown how much land I have down there that's usable. So the next step is going to be, I think actually the next step may be to rent a roller. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll figure that out together. But the crushed gravel ended up being better than I thought it was. It packs in nice. So I think it's going to do a good job of being a base on the road. So that's it for this video. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just figured out that I never turned on the microphone yesterday. So I'll have to voice over it when I do it in the system. But hopefully you enjoyed the video uh enjoyed seeing the next phase in all of this learned a little about the gravel that i used and know now if it will or won't fit in a project of yours in the future thanks for tuning in i appreciate you watching i'll see you next time on mighty little green machine